good hello. Yet another vid, though not so much a progress update on this rather faltering build that you see before you. It's uh, more of a subject contained within that and used in some of these structures. Uh, it's to do with medieval style, uh, well, wallhead defences, parapets, paradoses, battlements, whatever you want to call them. Um, it's just a, if outlining a few techniques that I've been using with modified blocks. Um, I mean, it won't be to everyone's taste, I quite understand that, and I have the utmost respect for the people that can create some astonishing variations using the simply the full cubed blocks that you find in Minecraft, coupled with the steps and the walls, slabs, etc, etc. So, definitely, I'm a bit of a cheater, I guess, in comparison to those folks, but that said, Something using these, uh, just the full meter cube blocks, leaves something to be desired in terms of uh, functional nature. So, obviously, you can see here, I've just cobbled together something in the bargain basement parapet using the, the, full, the full Minecraft block size. And it looks it certainly looks the part to some degree. But saying that, while these... these uh, Merlons are obviously providing protection for a, a player on the wall ahead from incoming fire. The field of fire through these crenels or the gaps is, is much, it's very restricted basically. It's much reduced compared to what you could have if you use some of the modified blocks available. Which is pretty much why, as, a, as somebody that's very fond of castle architecture, is, is why I started using mods in the first place. Just to get that extra element of versatility. Uh, the first thing I got, in fact, was the Building Bricks mod, which uh, I'll show you, in fact, just now. I'll get onto this tab here. And it's not a mod showcase, because I have no idea how to use some of these elements, so I'm certainly not professional enough at presentation to be showcasing things, as some of the, the folks out there might do. But I'll just show you, obviously, there's a huge amount of variance. I'm using the Conquest Reforged... Uh, modern resource pack so that's explains why the textures might look a little different obviously or vastly different um, but it works just as well with vanilla which is kind of where I started out but what it does it's a very simple but effective mod it just it, first things first it adds a huge amount of texture variations that you might not find in the uh, in the in the vanilla game so get a huge amount of uh, Extra things like, you know, wall stairs, for instance, things like that. I'm, I'm not not so sure you might find those in the in the original game. It's been a while since I've played it in its uh, original form, so... But, it, yeah, a lot of variance on the uh, the full-size blocks, be it slabs, steps, or the, uh, the others, the walls and things. But uh, also adds these fractional derivations... You can see these steps here, for instance. Uh, so, yeah, <coughs> excuse me, fractional derivations of a full block. That's more sort of vanilla style, but there we go. Here are some of these corners as I scroll down. And this huge amount of texture variation also. So, very well worth having. And it's, I, I don't know, it's not too much of a step away from the, the vanilla ideal either. The things that you can produce are much more versatile than simply using the vanilla block selection but uh, that said they still have that sort of minecraft blocky quality to them so it's 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 a good it's a good first step if you if you're wishing to look for a mod that's going to open up a few more possibilities and it's like i say simple and effective so i'll pop out of there anyway and uh, f1 it and you can see i've got this uh, this variant here, um, you can see in my hand I've got this trowel, essentially, which is one of the Building Bricks uh, additions. <laughs> yeah, nice effective pause for no reason. Right, okay, one, one thing the trowel does is it's very helpful uh, for your uh, inventory space, for instance. So if I just hold shift, I make sure I'm not looking at somewhere, by the way, that uh, I can place a block, otherwise I just hold shift and right click and I'll place a block. If I look away and I hold shift and right click, it opens this rather nice little GUI. 
uh, which has in contained within it all the different variants for my chosen material, all the different block variants available. So a very useful little space saver there. So what I'll do is I'll click on slabs and I'll get rid of this rather clunky chunky parapet away with you and we'll place some of these now somewhat like the step blocks with building bricks another useful thing is the ability to place blocks in rather different forms so though you can see the vanilla slab selected just to the right of the hot bar there it's a little indicator to show you what you have uh, selected in the trowel at the moment now obviously if I place these down in a certain form then they'll sit horizontally like your vanilla slabs very nice and also it uses the uh, conquest connected textures but there you see I click somewhere else rather inadvertently but so uh, it was what I'm about to illustrate and click somewhere else and you end up with vertical slabs rather a useful little addition and certainly indispensable in my mind for uh, making some rather more functional parapet defences. So we'll just go ahead and place these down wrongly in some cases. It does take a little bit of practice and despite having had this mod for quite a long time uh, I still, as you can quite easily see, still make mistakes fairly often but uh, <coughs> for those who are a little bit more adept excuse me, with uh, with building in as a whole, they, uh, they certainly uh, should pick it up, no uh, no trouble. So, anyway, there we are. We've still got the the general look from the distance. There we go. But coupled to that is a slightly nice look. I think it's a bit more realistic in terms of uh, a bit more in keeping with things you see out there and in medieval fortifications if you've ever been to visit one and uh, also I've got the added capability of a much greater field of fire so I think it's looking up in terms of uh, in terms of functional capabilities here already and we can take things a little bit further but before we do I just mention obviously you can see the texture isn't quite I'll nip to the other side it's not quite the same as these wonderful connected textures from Conquest Reforged. It's using one of them uh, and that doesn't actually happen as standard but I'll explain myself in a moment. Uh, most most extra mods that you add on top of Conquest Reforged or in, use in conjunction with Conquest Reforged will use a texture from the resource pack that is called stone brick and uh, doesn't appear to have quite the same shaping on the stones for instance. Um, it's a little bit more rounded, a bit more cobble-like, and to, to me, it wasn't, I wasn't that keen on that particular uh, variation that uh, the resource pack supplied to the other mods that I've been using. So, in the case of building bricks, I used a, a seven zip, or you can use a similar program. No, went into the jar file and uh, just fiddled about with the, I think it in in the block states, fiddled about with the textures for stone brick as a as a whole, and uh, and eventually I uh, got it to use one of the the other textures from uh, after scanning through the PNG files on the conquest mod I found something that I found personally was a little bit more in keeping with the uh, the general shaping of the stonework in the textures from the conquest stone brick so although it doesn't use the connected textures and still has a certain element of repetition to it I just found it was a little bit more in keeping, so that's uh, a little bit of waffle there, but uh, it's just something to consider. So uh, if you're using some of these mods in conjunction with Conquest, I could probably figure out how to explain how I did it in detail for anyone that wished to know, so you can always drop me a comment or something and I'll try and uh, backtrack and figure out exactly what I changed. But anyway, I'll uh, stop waffling now. There's, uh, I guess, a certain element of repetition still there. 
but I think it's a little bit more in keeping with the stone brick texture as a whole. And uh, I feel, I feel personally that it's it's justifiable. You could perhaps say as a finer cut ashlar being used for the parapet, as it's a slightly more refined architectural form, as compared to the rather more brutish mass of the wall. So what's this? It's a good old three meters thick. Not too bad so far as castle walls go. That's sort of uh, reasonable thickness. But anyway, I'm just going to fly over to this <coughs> religious foundation and uh, we shall just look at the next step up that you could take, or step out, perhaps. And that is a, a plain corbel table. So it just supports the parapet, that overhangs the wall slightly. It's more of a, I don't know, it's a, it's a, it's a visual variation. I don't, it doesn't really have much more function to it, but uh, it certainly just gives a, a little bit more for the, uh, the eye to take in, a little bit more presence to the building as a whole. And again, it's, it doesn't help so much with the, the, the defensive function, but it's just a, a little visual addition. The, the spacing of these, uh, I'll show you what I've used there. I'll just pop into the GUI, use these little corners here. And the spacing is, is such that uh, you generally will end up with one overhanging at one corner and an indented corner at the, uh, at the next to sort of tend to alternate around but overall from a distance despite that little uh, little issue there with the spacing it, it lends a, a decent effect to the to the look in my personal opinion it's not so obvious now it is as dark as anything so I'm going to clunkily change to uh, to daytime just to so it's a little more light on the subject. Oops, totally missed that. Yeah, pro skills, yo. So, okay, so the next, obviously we have a, a flush parapet here. You could go with the uh, the plain corbel table if you wished. But uh, you could take it a little bit further and really get some some proper functionality to these, uh, these parapets. So I'll just go into that as a next stage. And we are still on slabs, so uh, why not go for a full matriculated parapet? And for those who don't know what a matriculated parapet is, well, you're about to find out. And rather than explain, I guess it's a, I guess it's a French word. I guess uh, it's most most fortification terms tend to stem from French or Latin, so far as I'm aware. Not all, but most. Anyway, I'll leave those two there because I'm going to show you how I've been attacking the corners, at least on rectilinear structures. I've uh, not really got round to making some of the uh, rounded forms. I know a lot of folk use, uh, though they are stepped in a sense, they uh, they, they make rounded structures um, by using the correct f configuration of, of blocks to, to make something that appears round from a distance, and I haven't really figured out or wish to try figuring out just yet how to utilize these parapets with such structures so anyone that wishes to go with the vertical slabs and use this particular technique I probably sorry to say I have to leave it up to them to figure that one out for the moment I haven't really got uh, any uh, any sort of uh, made any progress on that front oh, excuse me when you're uh, floating it's a bit difficult selecting these things you've got to make sure you double let go of everything and double click on it so you select the right thing otherwise in that GUI you'll just end up not selecting what you wished and placing what you didn't wish where you didn't wish it to go so just uh, anyway giving uh, just beefing up these corbels a little bit giving them a little bit more of a stepped look I think adds to the realism I'm going to pop this chap in here you can see that I'm just going to render a, a little corner piece also now we'll go back to slabs, so that's shift, space, and let go of everything, and click away with the left until we get what we so desire to be placing. And I'll just keep on working this up. I'll probably get the spacing all wrong here. But it's all for illustrative purposes. Now I think that'll work out okay, actually. And then finally, I'll just pop this 
couple of these chaps in on the corner, which is how I was, I've been rendering corners with the uh, the building bricks mod. I think it looks reasonable overall. You get quite an aggressive uh, crown to your wall head there. That's also while you retain this extended field of fire from the crenels you also have a huge advantage of being able to cover every section of the wall base from above directly down the wall face through the uh, the gaps between the core walls in the machicolis you're not losing anything with this corner that I've uh, just one one sort of uh, way of finishing things off reasonably at, at the corners um, it's uh, probably infinite variations, or at least a few variations you could come up with. You could try a turret or bartizan, which is uh, a possibility. Uh, sort of using these uh, using these blocks, you could have an overhanging turret, or sort of buttressed out turret, or something like that. I'll go. I'll, I'm, I like the term bartizan. Nobody ever knows what you're on about. But I've been a castle geek for uh, over a quarter of a century, so I've done a fair share of reading on these things. But anyway, that aside, it's uh, obviously gives a great deal more offensive capability, and it's a far cry from having your meter-thick parapets and restricted field of fire when you've got this increased capability in this direction, out into the field, and also closer to the base of the wall as well. Obviously, you can plin things out, or you know, have a stepped battered face to the wall or anything you wish to do depending on how you're building and what your styles and preferences are so yeah, and from the exterior as we've seen it gives us slightly more uh, there's a there's a bit more presence to it I guess uh, just one more thing if you've got conquest for instance I don't know if you could do this necessarily with vanilla <laughs> all these Christmas present chests they really freak me out for a bit as well there was a few moments where I was frantically reloading my resource pack and wondering what the hell had happened. And then I remembered it's Christmas chess. Noob status alert there, I think. Noob. Anyway. Uh, another noob thing. Are these place blocks? Anyway, you can see I've selected that Conquest trapdoor variant there. And I'll put these probably place blocks in. Like so. I'll pop one on there anyway, just for the hell of it. Okay. And this, this was something I found made for a nice little addition. Okay, that's just another, another thing you can do with this particular uh, configuration using building bricks and conquest combined. And you can see now, obviously, you've still got all the functionality that you had before, but now if you are concentrating on firing it foes, shall we say, uh, down the uh, matriculated parapet apertures and the matriculations themselves, you're also protected from incoming fire. So you're not going to be getting arrows upside the head from folk further out in the field when you're concentrating on firing downwards here. And obviously you can open these fellas up and return fire against anyone out in that direction as well. Hopefully not on that rather ill-rendered hillside, but that's yet to be changed, so don't uh, don't judge me. It's a work in progress. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I guess I've waffled on a bit. Uh, I did have some more. I've got some further variants with, with various other mods and uh, a few more ideas to, to perhaps show you. But I think what I'll do is I'll make a second part to that and then it's all a little bit more easily digestible rather than just listening to my monotone presentation waffling on for all this time. So, uh, yeah, I guess keep an eye out for part two if you uh, if you manage to get through this and you're a glutton for punishment. All right, folks. Well, in the meantime, anyway, I wish you all the best and uh, take it easy. Cheers.